Hello ladies and gents, Fredix here with T3G doing a review for a ProScan 7 inch tablet. But before I get started with the review, here's the tablet. Uh, before I get started with the review, I just wanted to wish everybody uh, happy holidays. Uh, wow, this couldn't be more difficult. I just wanted to wish everybody happy, happy, uh, happy, happy holidays. I just wanted to wish everybody happy holidays coming from uh, T3G, all three of us, Cerebro, Full Throttle, and me, of course. Uh, you know, happy Happy New Year's, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, geez. Uh, Merry Christmas and uh, all of the above. Hope you guys enjoy your holidays um, watching T3G. And let's get into the review for the ProScan 7 inch tablet. Okay, so here it is the review for the actual tablet itself. Um, I'm going to show you guys pretty much how well it runs, how it functions. Uh, the ProScan 7 inch tablet. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's uh, just go through a couple slides here, show you guys, uh, you know, how quickly it responds, how well it runs, things like that. Uh, you know, I mean, it's responding pretty well right now, I guess. Um, but, you know, it can lag up sometimes if you got a couple apps open in the background. Um, right now I have none, that's why it's running so smoothly. Uh, this thing only has uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, and uh, not all of that is being utilized while you're using it. Um, some of that is being taken away just from the operating system itself, not from the actual applications you're using. So, um, you know, you don't have much room to play with when it comes to RAM, <laughs> and uh, how many apps you can have open, things like that. So. Uh, Let's try to open up a few apps. I'm gonna open up Amazon. Uh, you guys can also see how quickly that loads. My Wi-Fi speed um, is pretty average. It's not, um, you know, too quick or too slow. So um, it's a pretty good benchmark to, for you guys to see how well, and how quickly, quickly this responds. Because um, sometimes this thing can get pretty slow. I'm not even gonna lie. So shopping cart. You know, it takes a while for things to load. Uh, just a tablet case in there. And uh, there it is, it took a while to load up uh, completely, but once the app is opened, it runs pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna open something else up in the app. Uh, I'm sure whatever that is. And sometimes it just, it just doesn't respond that well. Prime. Let's try Prime. <sighs> Took a couple seconds to load up. Uh, contacts. I think that's what that is. Okay. I loaded up pretty quickly as well. Settings. You can open up that too. Accessibility. Just play with a bunch of stuff so you guys can see how it handles uh, things and such. And now let's open up something like YouTube. Let's try and stream a T3G video while there are a couple things running in the background uh, so you guys can see how quickly it does or doesn't perform. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, T3G. I'm just going to type it up for a sec. Uh, it should come up pretty quickly. T3G. T3G Tech. I'll let you guys see how long that takes. Wow. Open up the channel. Here it is. YouTube is one of those apps that uh, runs pretty quickly. Why? There you go. Played in 720p. It's gonna load up real quick. The new resolution.
speaking the speaker can get uh, decently loud. Nothing crazy, you know, it's just a tablet. Pretty good. Actually not bad. Better than I expected to be honest with you. And I've actually used this before, so this is pretty much a good day. Um because sometimes this tablet can get pretty cranky and not want to do anything. Uh, okay, let's go to Netflix and try to stream something stream something through there because uh, Netflix is a little more intense on the uh, processing. play something I don't think I'd get in too much trouble for. But then again, all this stuff can pretty much, pretty much get me in trouble. So, this is not T3G's content. We're not trying to steal anything, guys. This is a great movie, by the way. I'm thinking about making a video about it. But that's another tangent. So I'm loading Wolf of Wall Street. Let's see how long this takes. And we'll see how smoothly the video can actually run. <laughs> waiting. Waiting. Still waiting. FYI, I'm still waiting. So you can see, I've got a couple apps open in the background. Now Netflix is going to take a minute to load up. There it is, Wolf of Wall Street. Um, the video might be a little choppy. There it is. It's uh, kind of lagging right now. And the quality is pretty piss poor, if you ask me. Um, but that might be a Wi-Fi uh, type of issue. It might not be. It's not that bad, though. <laughs> Usually when you uh, double click on the screen to uh, see that Netflix interface, uh, it definitely chops up a lot uh, with or without apps in the background. So I don't know what that's all about. Once again, probably another thing on the processing side of things, a little too intense for the tablet. So I've got a bunch of things open in the background, not to mention that I have a live wallpaper going right now. So this thing is probably being attacked a lot right now, so I'm just gonna exit everything. And I'm gonna open up my favorite game, Worms 3. I just bought this game a couple of days ago, and uh, it's really intense on this tablet. It's a pretty high-end game uh, when it comes to mobile gaming. So, uh, you know, I'll show you guys how it performs. It can chop up and lag here and there, but it actually does a pretty good job with a game this intense on a tablet this cheap. I was actually really impressed. Wow, today's just like a really good day. Today's a really good day. I don't know what I'm doing differently, but uh, usually this stuff takes a lot longer to load up. Okay. Mm. I'm just gonna shoot this guy with a rocket launcher. doing a great job there's some uh, 3d processing going on in the background uh, a lot of colors a lot of things going on right now pretty much and it's doing a really good job handling it so uh, that's really it when it comes to multitasking gaming uh, things like that that you can expect to use on your tablet on a day-to-day -day usage uh, you know it'll read books pretty easily uh, it's got a camera on the front so uh, everything runs decently I'd rate it four or five stars uh, the camera is pretty awful I'm not even gonna lie like this thing isn't really worth mentioning uh, to be honest because it's just that terrible it's a $50 tablet uh, the camera is not gonna be all that great <laughs> Let's uh, shoot some video with it. 
I might include this video sample in the uh, in the actual review itself, but uh, nothing to be excited about, nothing to look forward to really. Uh, I tried using it with Snapchat. Uh, it's just definitely something you don't want to do. Harris, uh, not Harris, Full Throttle and uh, Cerebro are blowing my stuff up right now. Uh, so other than that, it actually runs pretty good, especially with the uh, live wallpaper going on in the background. Um, ah, I got a lot of ass installed on it too, so um, you know it's it's doing a really really good job uh, with processing and things like that. Uh, settings, uh, I was kind of upset this thing didn't have a uh, Bluetooth uh, capability, um, but you know it is just a fifty dollar tablet. But then again, Bluetooth is kind of just one of those things where it's really easy to implement, um, especially in 2014, uh, moving on to 2015. So, you know, I was kind of upset that Bluetooth wasn't there. Uh, but other than that, it comes with uh, two gigabytes of storage and a dual core processor. And uh, that's, that's really it, ladies and gents. Uh, this tablet runs pretty good. Uh, you know, I got it for 50 bucks. You can probably find it somewhere around there on uh, Amazon or something like that or um, You know really any tablet similar uh, to this in terms of specs and functions. So That's really it good tablet for 50 bucks really So with all that being said on the ProScan 7 inch tablet This is a pretty good uh, pretty good device at the end of the day. Um, I only paid $50 for it like I said so um, I really didn't expect too much out of it. I did look into the specs um, before I purchased it and things like that. So I knew what I was getting. Uh, make sure when you are purchasing a tablet like this or anything that's really cheap um, that you know what you're getting in general. Any product that you know what you're getting out of it. Um, I knew that this is going to be a low RAM, um, you know, low processing power type of <laughs> low processing power uh, type of tablet. Sorry about that. Um, the little interruption. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot of processing power. You can only really run um, one app at a time. You kind of have to be, you know, a little slow and gentle with it. But other than that, it's a really good tablet for $50. It's 7 inches. It's a great Netflix machine. It's great for a lot of things. Just try not to overdo it because, um, you know, it'll it'll have brain farts. It won't, it won't function that well if you're trying to do a lot of things on it. Um, so I would say it's a really good purchase. Two out of three guys recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Rex with T3G. Go to T3GTech.com for more tech and reviews. Subscribe for more videos. Hope you guys had happy holidays. I hope you guys have many more. This has been Rex. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.